Hello, my friends. I'm Oliver from Token Hobby. So one more customized bumper from Lesu. This one, we customized it with uh, different painting and light and sound system. So this one is a three-way bumper with a crane. And uh, for EXO, all power driven with differential lock, two speed. So let's see how this one working. First, the light on. Sound. Also here, you see the, this crane working plate also have light. Also this side have. And for turning, let's go forward. You will see this side also have light. So turning left, turning right, backward, light. And uh, go forward, braking. That's a braking light. Okay, let's see forward. Let's drive in with full speed, low speed, backward. Forward. That's the low speed. So let's change it to high speed. Try again. That's the high speed at full speed running backward. Stop, forward. Okay, that's the high speed running at full speed. And now let's see operating this crane. Now we setting it all up with uh, mix control. So first, this one now you see I'm not putting it down all the way down because you see, uh, just for reminding you, because there is little space between this bucket and the crane. So if you're not familiar with the operation, better putting this a little up because if you accidentally turn in the crane like this, uh, turning it, if you accidentally turn it with this one, uh, putting back, you will scratch on forward or backward. The, the paint will be scratched off. So for safety, better holding at this middle position, not putting all the way down. Okay, now let's operate it. Grab the big arm, the middle arm, all the way up, and putting down the middle arm. Forward arm, go out. That's all the way out. Putting back. So, for operation, if uh, you're loading cargo to the bucket, better for this standing leg. Yeah, first let's reach out. And after reach out, manually turning the leg around to facing down. Leg down for the support. So now okay. Can operate the crane, reaching out.
now it is unloaded. So this one you can remove it. Leave it like that. So while unloading, you hook it up. Spinning each side. If here have cargo, no matter left side or right side, you can all load and unload it. So now I will put back this one. I will show you the three-way bucket. Let's go back. So before you take it back, you spin it to the right angle. So this one parallel with the bucket. Okay, then put it down. As you can see, I actually still have to turn it a little bit. This one you can put it all the way down like this. I will turn it. Actually, have to turn a little bit more. Yeah, that's that's all the way down. So, but if you put it at this position, if you accidentally turn it, it will you will scratch it on the pad. So better when you operate upper than this position, so you will not not risk damage the painting. Yeah, putting at this position, it is it is enough. Okay, now I will show you the bucket. So take it back, back. Let's draw it back by hand. Okay, so. Now let's see the three-way bucket. So, you want to operate, we are setting with three section switch. So, if you change in the switch, you are changing the lock. All this bucket is, is secured with lock on the there to the chassis. So now we are unloading to the rear side. When you unload it, check here, the arm should be here better rising a little bit so you uh, not accidentally touching this paint, yeah? Okay, keep rising. Before reach end, stop because for this crane, you have pressure release valve. So no matter how much you put in running, have, it, it is safe, will not burst out all your holes. But when you operating, changing the valve to this side, Operating this side, the pump directly leading to the to, to this cylinder, no pressure release valve. So reaching the dead point, stop. When putting down on the seat, stop. So the the hose will be safe, yeah, because it is only go oil inside and suction oil out for moving the bucket. Okay, put it back. It will sit and lock on the chassis. Okay, so now I will unload it to another side. So now this side, you check it out here. It is now it is locked. You find out. I will rise it to show you again. Not so clear to see. Actually, in this position now, it is middle position. So it is this hook. It is not not on. It is not locked on this pin. Also, this side not locked. So only the rear side here, the hook here. Only this hook two sides are locked to the pin. So when rising, only lifting to the rear side. I will put it down. So you see now, I will lock it. So now left side it is locked, right side it is unlocked. So when I lifting, it will be dumping to left side. Another way, now it's middle position to rear side. Now this hook coming out, so this side it is unlocked, but right side it is locked. That's rising, it will dump to right side. Here it is the hook and the pin, so same as the right side. Uh -huh. Careful. Okay. 
touching a little bit here, so I have to put it down because I have to hold it, so not touching it anymore. Good, okay, only touching a little. I see it. So now better, I rise it a little more. I rise into this angle so we are not touching anywhere because when you turn it, yeah, it's, it's not parallel. As I can see now, it is not parallel with the bucket. So when lifting, touching one side. So safety first, you rise in the arm, you can operate anyway. You see it stopped automatically because each side here, left side and right side have this limit switch. But then when this, that side going down, it's pushing this limit switch and power off the pump. So pump stop automatically because the limit switch. Let's put it back. Okay, stop. And uh, middle position. Now it's uh, dumping to rear side. Changing again. Locked. Now it's dumping to left side. Okay, stopped automatically. I will put it down. Okay, so be careful each time when you rise in the bucket, yeah, after you rise in, if the, if the bucket is not sitting on the chassis, you do not change the lock. The three section switch for changing, dumping rear, left and right, you don't touch it. If you touch it, this other side of the lock will be unhooked, will be open, the bucket will be lean, will lose control. Will will fall down, only connecting to the, the pump cylinder. So don't touch it when you lifting it. So only when you sit it back to the chassis, only after sitting you can change the lock. Yeah, so now it's middle, dump into rear side. The door will be open because here I have a hook. Okay, let's see from the forward. From forward, you will see. Let's see what is under there. Have a look here. It is the servo. So now you cannot move the servo because if you move the servo, one side of the hook will open. If you say this side open, it will lost balance and the bucket fell down to left side. So after you rise in, no matter which side, don't change the servo position. Don't change the lock. After you will be trouble to putting all the hook back. You see, from here, on here, have this switch, this side, here it's hook locked, but they have pin. So this one, when sitting, it's pushing to be up position, so the pin will push the by servo to left and the right, will be locking this one. So if you uh, unlock after you rise in the bucket, this one, will not be in position, you, you, it will be trouble for you to put it back. So this servo and the pin, you see here it's connecting by all these connecting road. When servo turns to this side, uh, the, the lock will be moving to left side, so this side will be locked, left side will be unlocked. So when this servo, let's see, one more minute, when servo turning to this side to left, the hook, this connecting bar will be pushing the lock to right side. So left side will be locked, right side will be unlocked. If in the middle, now it's middle position, only the rear side if it is locked. Forward side, this, this to lock, it is unlocked. It is at a different position, it's a little complicated to see here. Okay, I will put it down, we will see the chassis.
also this one radio setting a little bit complicated with manual control, auxiliary, the mix control a lot. Let us explain from another video. So here we got the oil tank at this side. On the top, this crane plate before was using here have oil tank, but now we already changed for this one different. The oil tank it is here and the pump it is at the right side down there. I will show you. So the chassis mud guard. It is metal one, but this mudguard it is plastic. All the cabin it is plastic. So for others, the bucket chassis, the crane, this plate, it is. Uh, also, this cover it is plastic, but in the middle of the cover it is metal one. Okay, after open, you will see here are all the valve distribution valve. So the distribution valve we have seven channel because. Uh, you see, uh, from here the crane have three channel, big arm, middle arm, forward arm, three channel. The leg reaching out, one channel. The leg going down, one channel, already five channel. So here also have two spare channel not using yet for future upgrade. So the server not connected. So totally we have seven channel for the hydraulic oil. Uh, uh, my mistake, this plate actually it is all metal one. The cover is the crane. This operation plate, it is all metal one. Turn it around. You will see here the light, the mirror, and also downside have this protection plate. It is a metal one. This steps ladder also stainless steel. So here we got this metal box decoration, and this now cannot open. So the pump and the light sound system. The light board it is inside, and the the pump motor it is on the here inside the box. Uh, so as I said, this side oil tank, this side pump. So this oil tank is not using no pump, no hose here. Okay, only for using this oil tank. Let's open the cabin to see. So battery, two receiver, and the sound system it is here, and the speaker. So downside, that's the two-speed gearbox, transmission gearbox. Motor it is a little bit forward. Okay, I will put back. Let's see the chassis. Okay, so here the chassis forward. Downside, that's the servo for steering. This connecting rod. Other side connecting rod to this uh, second steering axle. Let's see, turning a little bit. Let's see how it's moving. And here the suspension by this stainless plate and in there that's the servo connections for the differential lock so now it is unlocked let's lock it this is turning lock pulley unlock let's see unlock position driving low speed and lock it yeah now it's already locked all we are spinning, unlock, disengage. Okay, it's unlocked now. So for reassign the connecting rod and uh, for this suspension, it's all different from for forward side. So for connecting rod downside for balancing, also at top have the V shape connecting rod for balancing the axle, also for holding it to the chassis. That's for the suspension moving. So from this position, you will be able to see where the oil hole is going, the oil tank. That's the suction line, air vent. Here is the pump motor. This is all covered already with screw. Okay, that's all for this one. And this delicate machine from Lesho, same similar to the roll on and off truck. It's complicated because of uh, the, all the hydraulic control bucket and have this crane. So there is so many channels. The radio very complicated. I will show you separate. Now we can drive a little bit to see. So the support leg we will leave it there. 
how to manually turn it up, manual turn around with a limit like this. And uh, for loading cargo, let's say this side have or your side have cargo. Put it down, hook up, spin, rising up, spinning to rear side for loading. Yeah. Adjust the angle, put it down. And check how much you can spin into this side. So from here, the all the cargo from this side to here you can put, and this side, all this angle, the cargo you can load and unload it. Okay, put it back. Let's see, Un unloading from the bucket again, rising, only going to the rear side, before reaching the top, stop, for safety, okay, and put it back. Thank you, that's this three-way dumper truck with crank from Leishu and we will customize more models for you to see so what kind of painting and what kind of settings you like you tell us, we will get, you get it done as you like Thank you, we will see each other again yeah,